MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game three of the World Series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Detroit Tigers. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots to talk about here as we get ready for Game 3. Well, when you start the series on the road, obviously you'd love to sweep the first two games, but coming out of there with a split is pretty solid, too. Now they come home, they've taken back home field advantage, and we'll see if they can feed off this crowd and take control of this series. The buildup to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on MLB Network, and we'll have it all for you next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your Detroit Tigers. Quickly now, we'll look at the two guys who'll get the ball here in game three. Time now for a glance at the Phillies' batting order in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, I think the focus has to be on the man hitting third. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands, always seems to turn in a good at bat, and he can do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. Mitch Wilcox will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, the first thing we're going to find out is how well this guy pitches with little sleep. I can't imagine knowing that you're going to be the next day starting pitcher the night before. This is a young guy making his first start. Listen, you can only make your debut one time, so there has to be lots going on in this guy's mind. Hopefully he can settle down early and pitch well in his debut. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Detroit Tigers. And, guys, the thing I want you to take a look at today is in today's game, the new age, everyone wants to move around. This manager does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them in this. Number 11. First offering on its way. And a cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and it's fouled away. Popped him up. Whitaker has a play. One down. Batting second here tonight. Second baseman, Chase Utley. So stepping in, Chase Utley, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No balls and a strike to count. A little chilly, but not unbearable tonight. 55 degrees here at first pitch. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Fastball that just misses inside. 
Utley tends to have more success against right handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing. Maybe he just picks up the ball a little better, but that's the book on him at this point. There's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. As a hitter, the only feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving one into the gap like that. He hustled out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't gotten it back in right away. Yeah, there really wasn't any question about that one going for extra bases off the bat. Pitch coming. Here it is. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Now a look and a throw back to second. Just keeping him close. Utley, the runner at second with one away. Lays off the slider and it's one and one. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Yeah, Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the game, I think. Consistent, well respected, accurate strike zone. Uh, D Bro, you hit it right there. He makes you bring the ball over the plate. We'll give a little bit off the strike zone. I think the one thing that's important that he does, he has the same strike zone in the first inning. You'll see that same strike zone in the ninth. He's fallen behind now, three and one. We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, Lemon. He's got it, and there are two down now. Ryan Howard. So digging in now, Ryan Howard, runner in scoring position with two gone. Here's the first pitch to him. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Hey, I know it's early and we're in the first right here. But he's going to have to work that heater to both sides of the plate. He cannot get away with missing over the heart of the plate all night. Two out here and a runner at second. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. Set. Here comes the 1 1. And he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. The 1 2. Misses. Ball 2. Two balls, two strikes. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. Now this is driven out to deep right center. This could be trouble. And trouble it is. It's down for extra bases. As he arrives at second without a play, as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. 
Already their second double of this first inning, guys. Yeah, he's not fooling anybody so far, Matt. Like you said, that's the second double he's given up here. And if he doesn't get things figured out, it's going to be a real short outing. In now, Shane Vick. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Hey, I know there's a lot of game left, but that is such an important run there in the top of the first. Try and silence this crowd. I can't tell you, in postseason play, one run feels like three or four. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And he's going to get to this thing on the run, and a fine play there will end the inning. One for the Phillies here on the RBI double. On to the bottom of the first at Comerica Park. And Philadelphia is off to an early 1-0 lead. And now a look at the hometown Tigers starting lineup in this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Look, Matt, everybody should be looking at the guy in the three spot. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit in clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. Cole Hamels gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. So here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. Now to the plate, Lou Whitaker. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. The second baseman, Lou Whitaker. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Now here's the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The 0-2 once more. Little chopper back to the mound. And there's one down now. Had to protect there with two strikes, and he just got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Standing in now, Alan Trammell. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will, just to the right of the chalk, a fair ball. And he'll reach second now with one away. He wasn't letting that one go. He jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base. Into the box, Kirk Gibson. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. Gibson, a native of the state of Michigan. This is his first year at the big league level. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. He may be down 2-0 and after those first two pitches in this A-B, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. Never attempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three.
And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Batting fourth, Patrick Lance Parrish. In now, Lance Parrish, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And the changeup just missed the inside corner. Trammell over at second. Gibson at first, one gone. And that's in there for his strike one and one. One and two to the Tigers catcher. A shot down the first bench line. And that's by him down the line in right field toward the corner. And he's in safely at third. As a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. Yeah, it's always nice to get a run right back there when you've given one up to the guys in the other dugout. So he squares this thing up really well to drive in a run and ties us up at one. Stepping in now, Larry Herndon. As he'll take a look at ball one. Runners are at second and third with one down. Hit down the third baseline. Polanco scoops it up. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Really good job of putting the ball in play right there. Even though it wasn't a base hit, it does bring the go-ahead run for his team. Stepping into the box, Chet Lemon. And the Tigers trying to make this first inning even bigger here. Here comes the first pitch. Change up in for a strike. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. Oh, and two, here it is. Nope. And the changeup is way low that time. I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. A bouncer up the middle. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll move on to the second inning here at Comerica Park. It's the Tigers two and the Phillies one. Ready now, Raul Ibanez. He'll lead it off here to begin the second. Left fielder, Raul Ibanez. First pitch of the at bat. And that one just missed outside. The 1 0. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Batting seven, third baseman, number 27. In now, Polanco. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Yeah. 
into the corner and slicing foul. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And with two away, let's give you one more look at the pads these two teams took to get to this game three of the World Series. Into the box, Carlos Ruiz. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First delivery to him on the way. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will. Just to the right of the chalk. A fair ball. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Sometimes you got to pull out the ambush tactic. You don't know what the best pitch is going to be. Oh, oh, right there. Get me a knock to the left side. Standing in now, Paul Hamels, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. hey! And a high strike there, it's 1-1. One and one. Swing and a soft liner, and nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. At the plate, Daryl Evans. Leading off for the Tigers. Third baseman, Daryl Evans. First pitch coming, here it is. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. That's why this guy is great. Never misses over the heart of the plate. It's got electric stuff, but pinpoint control to all four quadrants. And he fouls this one off. Now here's the pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Two and two. Two and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. What I like about that strikeout, guys, is that he came back with a fastball on 2-2. Two and two. He was heading to count 0-2 earlier, but instead of continuing to nibble a little bit, he decided to get aggressive again and to challenge with his hard stuff. Into the box, Marty Castillo. As he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Castillo. A California born ball player. He's in his third season as a major league player. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Faces are empty, one man out. And it's 1 and 2. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Ruiz recovers, and the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. 
So striding in, Mitch Wilcox. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's the strike. Hey, I don't know what happened in between innings, but he went down that tunnel with a few of his teammates and some coaches and found a way to regroup because he's been really good this second inning. After going out in the first, I thought it was going to be a super short outing. On, could we see another strikeout here? It's 0-2 now. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Two out, nobody on. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. The one-two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. Grounded to short. Rollins takes it in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Tigers. They lead it two to one. Stepping up now, Jimmy Rollins. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Jimmy Rollins. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. A called strike over the outside corner. Hey. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Not looking good after being down 0-2. I think at the very least, you got to work this pitcher's count a little bit. Try and get back into a decent count where maybe you can come through. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Now batting. Second baseman. At the plate, Chase Utley. He'll try to follow up the doubles in his last half bat with another big hit right here. The pitch. Swing and he puts a charge into this one high and deep and you can forget about it. This ball is gone. A solo shot down the line in right his first homer so far in the series as the Phillies have come back to tie this one at two. As soon as this thing left the bat, you knew it had the distance to get out of here. The only question was whether it was going to stay fair or not. And that question was answered with the resounding doink as it caromed off the foul pole for a homer. Stepping in now, Hunter Pence. Hunter Pence. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. And a fastball just a bit up. One ball has already left the yard, and the big boys haven't even come up again. Get the fireworks ready. The 2-1 home. Chopped weakly to the left. Two is left, Castillo. And there are two away now. The first baseman, number six, Ryan Howard. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ryan Howard.
He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hard hit ball to second. Whitaker has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. But the Phils have come back to tie it thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Leading off for the Tigers, second baseman, Lou Whitaker. First delivery to him on the way. Pulled toward right center field. Vic giving chase. But he won't get to it. And this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. You take a look at this one as it flies into the gap. Both outfielders give it a chase, but they can't catch up to it. Next thing you know, it one hops the wall. And he's busting his hump around second on his way to third. Coming to the plate now, Alan Trammell. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Here comes the first pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Throw to first, not in time as the run is across the score. You know, Dero as a pitcher, that could be so frustrating. You're taught to try to go out there and make quality pitches, and that was a really good pitch. And I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter smiling, running down first base, knowing he's got an infield single right there. He has no business. He'll line out probably 15 times, but it won't even out. You take him when you can get him. In now, Kirk Gibson fouled off. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. step off the rubber and go to first and the runner back easily Trammell on at first nobody out to one and two now On the ground to second base. This could be two. There's one. On to first, and they get them both. Really good pitch for the pitcher right there. Down in the zone, hits on top of it, induces the ground ball double play. Standing in now, Lance Parrish. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Now the 1-0. Right on it there, but this is foul over toward the first base dugout. Bases are empty here with two men out. Popped him up. Utley over to his left. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Tigers get one here on two hits in the inning. Game three moves forward to the fourth inning now. 
It's the Tigers three and the Phillies two. Now in the box, Shane Vick. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. First pitch on its way. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The left fielder number 29, Raul Ibanez. Now at the plate, Raul Ibanez. Here's the first pitch to him. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting, number 27. Stepping in, Polanco. First delivery to him on the way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Hits are now even at four apiece. Here's a liner caught down there at third. Pretty much right in the glove that time, and the inning is over. Digging in, Larry Herndon. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Number 31. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Little dribbler up the first baseline. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Sometimes for a first baseman, the best thing you can do is just go ahead and tag the guy like that. Hey, there's a lot more that could go wrong when you try to throw to the pitcher or the second baseman covering. So striding forward now, Chet Lemon. And now pitch on the way. Heading out towards shallow right. Pence moves over. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting, first baseman, Daryl Evans. Digging in, Daryl Evans. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. A high fastball is in there. That's one of those pitches you just float over the plate. 99% of the time the batter is taking at least the first pitch after two straight one pitch out. So you almost can underhand it up there. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a little tapper. That winds up foul for the second strike. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Two out, nobody on. Try to change of pace with two strikes there, but it misses one and two. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. And you know what? Give this guy some credit up there because this had the look of being a very quick inning. He's been able to stretch this at bat out a little bit, and that's something that shouldn't go unnoticed. Grounded to the right. Utley is there. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Detroit. They're up three to two. Leading off the inning, Carlos Ruiz, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Now the pitch. 
And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. Two well count the pitch. Three oh, and oh there. now. Not the way you'd like to start this fifth inning falling behind three and oh on the count. It's about time he starts throwing some strikes. Three oh pitch. And a good eye here as he takes ball four and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Wow, if that's not a strike, I don't know what is. I know these subs have a tough job. I get it. We'll see if he gets the next borderline call or if there are any makeup calls coming up. The pitcher, Paul Hamels, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. First offering on its way. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. It's a great job right there to pull that one back, make the count 1-0, and get this defense on its heels a little bit. The number one thing, if you're going to be a good bunter, you have to get strikes. Now a bunt attempt here, but a foul ball, one and one. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. Now a bunt attempt here. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. The batter, shortstop, Jimmy Rollins. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Jimmy Rollins. He got called out on strikes his last time through. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Yeah. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. One and one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Swing and a shot hit down the corner, and it's a foul ball. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Chase Utley waits on deck. He's set. Here's the three and two. A swing and a ground ball to third. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. And definitely worth another look with our show track data. Great reaction from the hot corner to make the backhand stop, and then he unleashes that very strong throw while in the air all the way across the diamond. He's going to be smiling about that one. Into the box, Chase Utley. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. This guy's cruising along, pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he could clean that up a little bit, he could really roll into the later innings in this one. I ran that one in on him a bit, as this time it's tap foul at home plate. Ruiz at second with two down. Slider, good two strike pitch, but it misses one and two.
Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They're down three to two. Digging in to try it again, Marty Castillo. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Marty Castillo. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ran the circle change in on him, a ball and no strikes. Watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. Ball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can tell, so I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Mitch Wilcox. First pitch coming, here it is. And that one just missed outside. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. Hey, I get it. You're all in fastball. You're pulling the trigger at almost anything. That is way too high. He's going to have to lower his sights. The 1-1. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. I don't know if that was discipline or whether he's just not swinging the bat at all, but hey, at least he's making the pitcher throw a few more pitches. Doesn't offer at the circle change there, and it goes full three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Three runs, four hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Into the box now, Lou Whitaker, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Just manages to foul that fastball off to the left, and he's in a hole now, down 0 and 2. And a breaking ball freezes him. Strike three called, and the side is retired. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Leading off the inning, Hunter Pence. And they'll need him to get something going here. First pitch of the at-bat. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. It puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something. 
without Zero. fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. This is in the air out to right. Gibson is right there. And he's got it for the first down. The first baseman, number six, Ryan Howard. Digging in once again, Ryan Howard, one for two with a double on his line thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a breaking ball stays outside. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field and that is off the wall in right field. The relay and he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Well that's his second double of the game and I thought it might have enough to get out of here. Banged it off the wall and he's looking really good in this one. Stepping in now, Shane Vick, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Grounder down the line at third, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Now the 0 2 pitch not a bad pitch there with two strikes but it misses one and two. Wow that's a tough pitch to take 0 2 fastball just off the corner and I mean just off the corner. And that's going to be high two and two now. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. The 2 2. Lifted down the line in left. Herndon is after it. He makes the running play. Two down. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Now batter, left fielder, Raul Ibanez. Into the box now, Raul Ibanez. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Here's the 0-1. Missed with a slider. Howard stands at second with two gone. Working for the punch out and the offering. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. 
some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. He's set and the payoff pitch. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Philly strand one, still a 3-2 ball game. Next for the Tigers, Alan Trammell. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First offering on its way. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Ibanez is there. One out. Now batting. Right fielder. Kirk. Gibson at the plate for Gibson here's the first pitch to him and he takes ball one Left it up in the zone, but it's a strike one and one. The one one fouled away. Missed with a breaking ball. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. Full count now, three and two. Lance Parrish will be next. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Struck him out. The catcher, number 13, Lance Standing in, Harris. Lance Harris. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. And this is taken outside for ball one. That's by him for strike one. A one one. Down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. On to the seventh now in game three. Detroit is out in front three to two. Back here now at Comerica Park in Detroit. On to the seventh now in game three, but before it gets underway, we take a look at our game summary through the first six. Ready once again, Polanco, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And that's going to be a base hit. So the possible tying run is aboard here to start the seven. And he's out trying to stretch it into a double. So a costly mistake here leading off the inning. Carlos Ruiz. Into the box now, Carlos Ruiz. First offering on its way. 
swing and a liner. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all ambush right. tactics. First pitch fastball, middle in. He's able to drive that for a nice single. Now here comes Ron Gardenhire up out of the dugout. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Dave Rosa comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Ross Lode will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. Bobby Cox always used to say, I'm going to put you in positions to be successful. Well, against the modern-day bullpen, easier said than done. These guys are throwing flames from all arm angles. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Very tight ball game. Three to two, our score in inning number seven. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? And a nice job to stay with it that time and get the second out of the inning. On to first, and even after the bobble, it's a double play, and the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back with more from Game 3 after this. Michael Sturtz gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Michael Sturtz. Digging in, Larry Herndon. Leading off for the Tigers. Left fielder, Larry Herndon. Here comes the first pitch. 0-1 oh, the count. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's 1-1. One one. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for wrap number one. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning, it's so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning. So that was a big out. So coming to the plate, Chet Lemon. First pitch of the at bat. He'll ball hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Zero. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. Here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. 
no problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Striding in, Daryl Evans. First pitch on its way. And that pitch catches the inside corner. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. You know, with two outs and nobody on, that's the last thing you want to do on the mound. That really gives the opposition some hope that they can do something with this inning. Now batting, Marty Castillo. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. Drilled right back up the middle. Reined in. And a super play to gun his man down as the side is retired. Tigers leave one, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Leading off the inning, Jimmy Rollins, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Jimmy Rollins. First pitch coming, here it is. Tough slider down low for a strike. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. This is popped up. Dives and he hangs on for the out. Wow. That ball wasn't hit all that hard, but it had base hit written all over it until the infielder made a nice diving stab on that one. Now, Ron Gardenhire out on his way to confer with the home plate umpire as it looks as though he'll be motioning for the double switch here. Bill Shearer will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Tom Brooks will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 16, Tom Brooks. In now, Chase Utley. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. So far, two for three in this one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Well, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Oh, 0-2. Here it comes. Round ball right side. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Eighth inning at Comerica Park. You get a look at our line score there with the Tigers leading this one at home and trying to finish this one off. Settling in now, Hunter Pence. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. First pitch is a slider down low. It's 1 and 0. Two runs, seven hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Line to the right side. Oh, and this deflects right off him. 
Hey, guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. Nice execution by the batter right there, keeping his hands inside and fighting it off for a nice base hit. Into the box, Ryan Howard, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Popped him up. Parrish is over to take a look. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Pence is off of first with two away. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. The one two. And this is pop foul but perhaps playable behind first. And that's going to land foul. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia. They trail three to two. Kyle Kendrick is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Kyle Kendrick. Now at the plate, Tom Brooks, and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. First delivery to him on the way. Up and in for ball one. The 1-0. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And it's fouled away. The one and two pitch. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys. So we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Payoff pitch home. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting. Second baseman. Lou Whitaker. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Lou Whitaker. First offering on its way. On the ground to the right side. Howard fields it cleanly, and they'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now batting, shortstop, Alan Trammell. Now at the plate, Alan Trammell. First pitch on its way. The knee buckler, and he swings and misses at it. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. This one, everything we could have hoped for, 3-2 to two in inning number 8. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Heading out towards shallow right. 
And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Down in order go the Tigers, but they still lead it three to two. We're set for what's left of this ball game from Detroit as we welcome you back to this MLB Network broadcast. Willie Hernandez takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Hernandez. Coming to the plate now, Shane Vick. He'll be the one to lead it off, needing one to tie in the top of the ninth. Here comes the first pitch. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Two and zero to the Philly center fielder. You'll hear me say this time after time up here in the booth. You fight so hard to get into these counts. 1-0-2-0-3-1. They don't happen often. This is a huge spot. Count leverage. Look for him to get loose on a fastball right here. All over the place to start the ninth. It's 3-0 and now. Pitch on the way. 3-1. Hey, that 3-0 pitch might have been important for him right there regroup get his mechanics back under him and drive something down through the strike zone wouldn't throw the exact same pitch right here might want to cheat towards one of the corners the three one and this one's chopped foul right at home plate Now the three and two pitch. A little bouncer. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. The next three, two. Another one sent foul. One more time. Hit high and deep to left field. Herndon looks up. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot here to left, and we are tied again. I mean, you have to love the World Series. What a game we have right now. Home run ties it late. Place is going absolutely bananas. Would you rather be anywhere else? The left fielder number 29, Raul. Into the box now, Raul Ibanez, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Hernandez is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Base is empty here with nobody out. The 2 1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. 
The throw to first is in time, one down. Now back. Ready for another shot now. Polanco. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Now here's the pitch. Line drive to left. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Now batting. Catcher. Carlos Ruiz. Riding in once again, Carlos Ruiz is one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Here's the first pitch. Runner goes for second. He swings and misses. Throw down. Is there, and he's out trying to take second. Not every catcher can make that throw, so... That was pretty special. Benito Santiago made throwing from his knees famous when he was playing, but it's a really tough one to pull off. That's a long throw without any legs underneath you, so hats off to him on that one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Rounded down the third baseline. Played on the backhand. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Phillies get one in the frame courtesy of this solo home run. Home half of the ninth is straight ahead. We're tied now with three apiece. Digging in now, Kirk Gibson. Leading on the bottom of the ninth for the Tigers. Right fielder. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a strike. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. The next 0-2. Very weakly on the ground. That's a foul ball. When you have two strikes on you, as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. Count is 1-2 and two now. One and two, here it comes. Good hard splitter, but it misses two and two. Hey, I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there. But you find yourself in a two-two count right here. Interested to see what he goes to. Back up the middle. Rollins up the middle. And the throw here is in time. Very nicely done there at short for the first down. Number 13, Lane. Parrish. Stepping into the box, Lance Parrish. First pitch of the at bat. Too short, hit hard. He's right there. And there's out number two. Well, I think he got away with one right there. It was a fastball right down the middle. And he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. Ready for another chance. Larry Herndon, 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. I mean, the obvious key right now is the movement on his two seam. He's able to spot it up in when he has to, and he's able to go back to it. Two out, nobody on. Liner towards second, and that is through into right field for a single. Hey, that's a nice piece of hitting right there. Two out base knock to put the winning run on base. Let's see if someone can catch a gap and end this.
Stepping in now, Chet Lemon. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. The 1-0. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but a foul ball, one and one. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. And one now. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. The 3 1 pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. All right, 3 2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. And he fouls this one off. Ready with another two strike offering. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. So they can't get that winning run home and that means we'll have to go a little longer tonight to find a winner. Nine can't decide a winner. We'll move ahead to the tenth and we are all tied at three apiece. John Mayberry is up off the bench to pinch hit here so we'll see what he can do to begin the extra frame. Mayberry. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. The 1-0. One, oh. one and one the count now. Come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. count as that misses it's three and two now Jimmy Rollins will be next another full count pitch on its way and possibly an interesting development here it's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings man when the game is tied the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter got to focus on getting that ground ball now Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Jimmy Rollins. Go ahead run at first, nobody out. Here's the first pitch. Trying to get that go ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. The second for one, on to first, not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. No real chance for him to roll two that time. He's just too quick coming out of the batter's box. 
you basically have to make a perfect turn on a hard hit ball to double him up. Now they need to keep an eye on him over at first. So next to the plate for the Phils, Chase Utley. He's two for four in the ball game. Here's the first pitch. Hey. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. Runner back safely. The 0-1. Nope. And he misses oh. with it, 1-1. One and one. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. And a fastball just a bit high. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Now we'll step off the rubber and go to first. And the runner back safely. Hit on the ground is short. He's got it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. How about it? Right here. Hunter Pence. Standing in, Hunter Pence. He singled his last time up. And there's the fourth wide one, so he's aboard on the intentional walk. The first baseman, number six, Ryan Howard. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Ryan Howard. Here's the first pitch. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. The 0 1. Way out in front. Oh. Down and away. It's a ball and two strikes. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. Now the one and two pitch. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. And we are all tied at three apiece. Number 58 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 58. Roberto Jones is going to come in and pinch hit here as he's the potential winning run here in the bottom half of inning number 10. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup, nothing in one. One pitch on its way. Down the first baseline. Howard ranges to his left. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Tough pitcher number 21, Willie Hernandez. Barton Garvin will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 27, Barton Garvin.
lays off 1-0. One half, nobody on. When he finds his spot there, one and one. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Standing in now, Tom Brooks. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And here's a ball hit in the air. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. The pitch. Neck high fastball that time. Trying to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Here now the two two. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. And this is the case of a guy taking one for the team. I think he could have gotten out of the way of this one. But he leans into it and puts himself on board. Now he represents the winning run, so it's a good move. Into the box, Lou Whitaker. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. The 1-0. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Dribbled to the right side. And he'll take no chances here as he swipes this ball away. It stays a foul ball. Two and two. We're going to count two and two. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Ready with another two strike offering. Missed with a slider. Alan Trammell would be next. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball.
Ready with another two-strike offering. And that misses ball four. So now the potential winning run moves into scoring position where a single could end this thing. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. So a big spot here in stepping in, Alan Trammell, as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. Here's the first pitch. And he'll miss the target away with the fastball. It's 1-0. This game is getting interesting real quick. And the last thing you want to do on the mound is fall behind. Needs to get back in the strike zone right here. The 1-0. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You could pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Boy, nothing working for him at this point. It's 3-0. Kirk Gibson would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Possible winning runs at second with two down, however. Three and one the count now. Now the three and two pitch. Ball four, and that will move the winning run over to third base now, just 90 feet away. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in extra innings. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. Striding into the box, Kirk Gibson. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. Takes a knee-high fastball. Getting that first pitch strike is really important when you're dealing with the bases loaded behind you. Good job to give himself the advantage there. The 0-1. Oh, I had him Dude, reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. Well, he's hoping to be a hero and drive in the winning run, but that swing tells me he's a little too amped up. You don't chase a pitch that badly if you're playing within yourself. Now the 0-2 pitch. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. A couple of walks, but no damage. We'll have more of Game 3 after this message. Doug Bayer takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Number 40, Doug Bayer. Dave Bergman is going to come on as a defensive replacement now as he takes over at first base. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Shane Vick, he's one for four for the game. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. High in the air out towards shallow right. Gibson moves over. One down. The left fielder number 29. Raul Ibanez. Stepping in. Raul Ibanez looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball down near the shoe tops.
Bases are empty, one man out. Chuano now. That was a non-competitive pitch right there, and he finds himself behind 2-0 in this situation. He's going to have to locate something down the zone, get himself back in this count. Here it comes. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Lemon has a play. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting, number 27. Stepping up to the plate, Polanco. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Rip down the first baseline. And this will get past him down the line at first. It's a fair ball. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Nice execution right there. Ball was down below the knees. He stayed through it and was able to drive it for a base hit. Into the box now, Carlos Ruiz. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's two for three and looking for more here. The 0 1. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with two down. Ball. And that misses two and two one. Now the 2 1. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Popped him up. Whitaker over to his right. And the inning is over. Philly strand one. Still tied 3-3. Three to three. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Your Joe Blanton takes over now to start the home 11th, and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12th. Number 56, Joe Blanton. Now catching and batting in the ninth spot. Number 23. And next it'll be the Tigers cleanup hitter, Lance Parrish. Leading up for the Tigers. First pitch Absolutely. on its way. Lance High fastball is in there. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's 1 and 1. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Ball 
Now a fastball awfully close but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. The two two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Wow, we've seen some really impressive pitching in this one. You could say these lineups have been anemic, but I always like to give credit to pitching and defense, and they've been fantastic all game long. Next up for Detroit, Larry Herndon. First pitch coming. Here it is. No balls in one strike. A wind up and the 0 1. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. One out, nobody on. Now a fastball here that will wisely lay off, and it's one and two. The one-two. Hit back up the middle. And that will find its way into center field for a one-out hit. A nice piece of hitting right there to put the winning run on base. I know there's one out in the inning. They got one more to play with that they could potentially be productive with. But this guy's looking to end this right now and put something in a gap. Stepping in now, Chet Lemon. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Possible winning run on first, one man away. That one's in there on the black, 2 and 1. Blanton. A Kentucky-born ball player. He's in the midst of his eighth major league season. Now the 2-1. Three and one. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Possible winning run on first, one man away. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Now the three and two pitch. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. Well, when you go with the slider there in a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. So a big moment in the ball game here. Dave Bergman, as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. Here's the first pitch. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? One there on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Johnny Grubb will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Howard Johnson will come on now and pinch run here. Johnson.
That's a now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. The 1 0. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Lifted down the line and left. Ibanez on the move. He can't get to it. This one's down. And they will lead the series two games to one as they walk off winners. You expect drama and historic moments in the World Series, and we just got another one of those. A walk-off to end this thing in the final at-bat of the game. What a finish. When you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our top player of the game. And, Maddie, I think you're absolutely right. Some guys just seem to thrive under the bright lights of the World Series while other guys fade into the background. He was brilliant in this one, and this is some well-earned recognition. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Detroit Tigers have taken a two games to one lead in this World Series. Doug Bayer gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa and the lefty Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.